My name is Selem, very pleased to meet you. If this is your first time here, welcome, welcome to my channel. If you're a returning subscriber, you guys are the real, real MVP. Like what? You're here again for another video. You're just too much. Thank you for coming back to watch another video from me. Today, I'm gonna to show you guys how to make a mermaid gown. By the way, I have it. Okay, mommy. Two thousand years later. Wow. Thank you, mom. <laughs> In addition to making a mummy dress, I'm also going to show you guys how to convert a basic bodice to a princess that bodice. Without further ado, let's get right into the video. Oh, hey, I didn't see you there. <laughs> So starting off with the bodice, I simply folded my fabric in half and then I drew a baseline. From that baseline, I'm marking 11 inches, which is her bust point measurement, and I'm marking 15 inches, which is her under bust measurement. I'm simply extending those lines. Now I folded her bust measurement by 4 and then I'm marking that on the bust point line. Folded her shape measurement by 4 and marking that on the under bust line. Now I'm simply just extending those lines or connecting those points basically. From the baseline, I'm marking 8 inches downwards which is going to serve as her armhole. And then her shoulder measurements, I divided that by 2. Her shoulder measurements is 15 inches divided by 2, that's 7.5 inches. That's what I marked and then I marked an extra um, 2 inches allowance. I just drew a cuff to connect those two points. Now I'm adding an extra 4 inches since I'm converting this regular bodice to a princess dart bodice. So I'm just um, connecting those points. And then at the shoulder, I left an extra 1 inch allowance. Now I'm marking 4 and a half inches, which is the nipple to nipple measurement. The nipple to nipple measurement is 8 inches. Divided by two, that's four inches. I just added half inch allowance. That's why I marked four and a half inches. So from the shoulder, I simply added extra one inch allowance and another one inch allowance. Now from the first one inch allowance, I'm simply drawing a diagonal line to meet um, that boss point line. I, sim I simply drew two diagonal lines actually. Now from that um, 4.5 inch mark, I simply marked two inches. And then I drew a curve to connect those points. Now I'm simply just cutting out um, the line I, or cutting along that line basically. Now I'm taking this, that was the front um, bit I cut. So I'm just using um, the front bit as a pattern to cut the back one. But if you notice, at the fold area, I left um, the zipper allowance at the back. Now I'm simply just cutting along those lines as well. I'm just cutting the front bit first and then I'll cut the back bit later on. Now I'm cutting the back. For the center back, I simply followed the outline of the center front. But for the side piece for the back, I'm simply taking off the, um, the side piece for the front so that I can actually retrace the side piece for the back. And I'm cutting along that line. Now I'm simply just marking the neckline. I want the neck depth to be 2 inches and the width to be... Um, 7 inches so I simply um, marked 7 inches divided by 2 which is 3 and a half and then I drew a curve to connect those two points and then I simply just cut along the line now connecting or sewing my back pieces first 
I simply place them right sides facing and I simply just sew them together. It's quite straightforward. And this is what we have. Very simple, very easy. So I did that for the other side as well. And now moving on to the front piece. I simply faced, took two pieces and placed them right sides facing and then I'm simply just sewing them. I started sewing um, the straight part and when I got to the part where um, the side piece was curved, I simply just kind of moved it around, which is the top piece. I moved the top piece around to match with the bottom piece, which is um, a bit straighter than the top bits i hope that makes sense if this is confusing please watch my princess that bustia video i i don't even know what i'm saying but <laughs> just watch that video it's a much more explanatory than this one but basically i'm just joining the front pieces together so for this other side once i get to the point where the curve starts i simply tack it at that point and then take it out then I start from the top to make sure that everything aligns together. I just started from the part where I stopped sewing and then I tried to use my fingers to align both pieces together just so that I see where it meets at the top. So I start from that top and then sew downwards. I find that sewing from the bottom all the way to the top for this side for the right side gives problems most times so um i developed this uh, method of sewing and then aligning both of them and then starting from the top downwards now because i'm putting an illusion net in the center i'm simply showing you guys how i cut that first of all i made sure that my boss point on that boss was right and i had allowance at the shoulder and i'm simply marking her half length i'm still going to cut it again but I'm just reducing the half length so I don't have to cut um, a lot of net that I wouldn't eventually use. So I simply cut the neckline, the depth, I wanted the depth to be 6 inches. And then I'm marking the shoulder now, added 1 inch allowance. Then the, yeah. Then the width of my neck, I want it to be um, 12 inches wide. So 12 divided by 2 is 6 inches. I'm going to go ahead and reach, like trim the back neck again because obviously they won't match. So I'm going to trim the back neck again. But for this illusion net, I simply started off at the beginning with about um, 1 inch. And then I increased it a bit when I got to the neckline just so it has like a V shape at the end of the day. So now I just trimmed out the neck and the excess fabric and then I'm also reducing that half length. Now I'm cutting open that illusion, um, the part where I'm going to replace with an Ill illusion net. net. <laughs> now if you notice, I put a piece of fabric under the bust and what that does is kind of, it, um, it imitates the actual person's bust, especially because this one, this um, um, fabric or, or these pieces are not padded. So because they are not padded, I needed to put some pieces underneath the bust, bust there so I get that shape that I need to cut out that um, illusion net. So now I'm just cutting the illusion net using that part I cut out as a pattern. And then I'm adding half inch all around just so that it's like basically my seam allowance. So when I sew and then I cut two pieces and what I'm doing first is I'm just sewing the top part which is going to be at the neckline, which is going to blend with my neckline. And then I'm s turning it to the other side and then I'm sewing that down. When that's done, I'm simply placing it on one piece and then I'm just sewing that down all the way to the end. Once that's done, I'm simply 
making sure that the allowance is facing the fabric and not the net and then I'm just um, top stitching just so everything lays down flat and neat and the fabric doesn't you know um, move to where the net is I'm doing the same thing for the other side as well and that's what that looks like And I'm also going ahead to top stitch it, making sure that the allowance is facing the fabric and not the net. And when that's done, that's our, you know, our front piece done. We're going to move on to the rest of the mermaid dress. So we're going to cut the skirt part of the mermaid dress. Now the length I'm looking at is 47 inches. That's how long I want my mermaid um the skirt part of my mermaid dress to be and then from that zero mark i'm marking nine inches downwards which is going to be her hip point and then i'm marking nine 19 inches downwards as well which is going to be where just before her knee now i folded her um shape measurements by four and then i'm marking it that on that baseline folded a hip measurement by four marking that on the hip line and then i divided her I, re I subtracted two in um, three inches i subtracted three inches from my hip measurement and that's what i'm marking on the um, knee line so i'm just connecting those points together with a curve and then um how wide i want my fab my the bottom part of my mummy dress to be is 27 inches when folded so that's um basically that's about 54 inches when it's open so you can see how wide it is so depending on the amount of fabric you have you can decide to make your mermaid dress as wide or as narrow as you can or as you want depending on the fabric you have so taking into account the amount of fabric you have so you know how wide you know you would make it so once i'm done cutting the front bits i'm just placing that front bit on my fabric that's folded again so i can cut the back bits now I simply just replicated the um, baseline, which is the waistline or the shape line, the hip line and the knee line. And now I'm simply tracing the, the, the measurements or the outline for the back. As you can see at the waist, I went in at the hip, I came out at the knee. I went in and then I came out again. What this does is that it accommodates her bottom and also has that you know shape i don't know if that makes sense but yeah that's what i did so now joining the pieces i'm joining the two back pieces together i'm just using a loose stitch and then when i get to the nine inch point i simply tacked it and then proceeded to use a tight stitch for the rest of the um, joining so I just sewed that in a straight line all the way to the end and then when I open that up this is what we have now I'm taking the back piece that I had previously you know sewn I had I've, I went ahead to join the both pieces together now I'm joining the back piece of the top with the back piece of the skirt just making sure that it's a nice nice neat um, joining and then once I've done that this is what we have I'm gonna go ahead later and open that um, back seam or that center seam and then attach my zipper but now I'm simply joining the front piece of the top with the front piece of the skirt just joining it with um, half of an inch seam allowance sewing that all the way to the end and this is what we have now i'm placing the back piece the back bits and the front bit right sides facing and then i'm just sewing that down now if you notice i didn't leave any allowance for the skirt pad that's because um this fabric is stretchy so i simply just measured her her exact measurements and then i simply just um 
shaped it with about two inches allowance so once she wears it it fits perfectly now i simply join the shoulders together and basically we're done guys and this is what it looks like at the end i went ahead to put a lovely puffy sleeve thank you so much for watching i'll see you in my next one bye